I am from a border town called San Juan, right next to Mexico. Uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> kind of a rough neighborhood. Our high school mascot was the cartel, so. <laughs> Let's just say we never lost a game. <laughs> it's weird. Being from Texas, uh, I'm a huge Dallas Cowboys fan. I love them. Trust me, I know. It's been hard. It's almost 20 years since we won our last Super Bowl. Ah. <laughs> I realized I feel like I'm in that relationship that isn't going anywhere. Like I have to have a talk with them at the beginning of the season. Like, <laughs> so, uh, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> You promised me a ring, there's no ring. <laughs> You're like, hey, I'll give you a Super Bowl ring. <laughs> you couldn't even get me to the playoffs. <laughs> you told me we were gonna go, I showed up, you weren't there, where the hell were you? <laughs> the Bengals were there, where the hell were you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't start seeing other sports. I've been seeing the Mavs for about a month now, thank you. It's weird, you know, they've caused me so much pain that I just find myself on Sundays getting drunk to forget the pain, you know? Sometimes I drink so much, I repeat the same question over and over again. I sound like a drunk Dora the Explorer, you know? Uh, do you know where my house is? Do you know where my house is? I need a map. <laughs> Thank you. I drink a lot for obvious reasons. I'm Catholic, um, that's what we do. Being Catholic is like having a gym membership. It's like, yeah, we belong, but we never go. It's all right. <laughs> I grew up in a kind of poor neighborhood. The only way you could tell someone in my family, like neighborhood had money, you'd go into their house and they would have a whole set of encyclopedias. You're like, ho, ho, ho. I knew Juan was doing good. I didn't know he was doing encyclopedia good. Oh, look, he's got the cue. <laughs> now, being poor, having debt, that's part of life, though, part of being an adult. If you guys ever want to find out which one of your friends doesn't have any debt, here's an easy test. Wait till the, like, their cell phone rings. Because people that don't have any debt, they're the only ones that will answer every phone call <laughs> without looking at caller ID first. They're not scared of anyone. They're, Hi, I'm responsible. <laughs> <laughs> Broke people, on the other hand, we judge that call by call. Hey, girl, how you doing? I'm, oh, I'm not going to get that. No. <laughs> The more broke you are, the more you laugh when someone tries to get their money. Like, <laughs> best buy. <laughs> caller ID was the best thing to happen to poor people. When my family got caller ID, my mom stopped answering every phone call. I was so glad I was never kidnapped because that woman would have never picked up that <laughs> ransom call. It could be the kidnappers. Yes, but it could be Sears. No, no. <laughs> Is it weird to say that like my favorite kidnapping movie of all time is Taken? I love that movie so much. Isn't it amazing? Oh my God. This girl gets kidnapped. Her secret agent dad comes and saves her. It's a fantasy. Can you imagine everybody in this room got kidnapped and you had to rely on your real dad to come and save you? We'd all be dead. I never even met my dad. I'd have to rely on my Mexican immigrant mother to get that phone call, you know? Mira, stupid. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you want ransom, woo! Good luck, I got no money. What I do have is a particular set of skills. I'm gonna take the bus to Europe. I'm gonna get a minimum wage job. And I'm going to cook and clean for you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been traveling a lot lately. I was recently in Oakland, and a friend of mine sent me flowers to congratulate me on something. And I didn't know what to do with the flowers when I left, like when I checked out. Are you supposed to travel with them? Do you throw them away? What? So I asked my boyfriend, and he was like, oh, just give the flowers to the maid. I was like, oh, OK. Well, what if there's more than one maid? He's like, oh, well, just give each maid a rose. Like, what the hell is this, the Mexican bachelor? Like, what am I doing? Like, Maria. I love the way you made the bed. It was comfortable, I slept in it for eight hours, you get a rose. Other Maria. Thank you guys, my name is Cassandra.